In the previous part, we saw how to create a wallet and set up your object profile. In this episode, I'll share the most commonly used platforms available on Tezos. So let's get started. There are a lot of platforms on Tezos and you can see the list on tezos.art. Let's discuss a few and then I'll show you the minting and listing on a few of them. So the first up is Tia, which filled the gap of Hiketnang or Hen, which was the biggest platform on Tezos. Tia is great and I recommend this one for complete beginners on Tezos. Second is Object.com. Object is like a hub for Tezos NFTs. The NFTs minted and listed on most platforms show up on Object as well, even if they are not minted there. Even Tia NFTs show up and can be traded on Object under the Hen collection in your profile. When you are starting out, I'll recommend using Tia to experiment and then move to Object and create a custom collection for minting similar type of work together. Also, creating a collection on Object costs 1 Tezos and the collection cannot be deleted. So create a collection only when you are fully ready. Until that, you can use Tia and all the mints will go in an open hen collection. Next up is FXHash. FXHash is a generative art platform and you can create stuff using code or if you are a non-coder like me, you can watch this video to make your own generative art project. Next is 8Bidu. It's an 8x8 pixel art based platform. It's fun to try and create 8x8 pixel art. They have a 24x24 24 24 pixel version too now. And the last is type.art. This is a very unique platform because it is a text only platform. So you can mint literal text there. People write and mint stuff there. Let's see an example of minting on Tia as well as object. So I hope you have already created a wallet and set up your object profile as shown in the last video. This is my object profile showing the collections tab. You can see there are few collections with names and one that is hen. Anything you mint on Tia goes into this open hen collection and it can be bought on Tia as well as object. We are at Tia.art. The logo of the site keeps changing every time you visit it. So don't be confused if there is a different logo than this one. So when you arrive at the site, click on sync, choose your wallet, in our case temple, select your account and click on connect. Your account will be connected and you will see your wallet address here. Click on this three dot menu and click on mint object. Here you will add a title, a description, tags for your piece, editions, that is how many editions do you want to mint royalty on every secondary sale the license is optional and language is also optional you can click these you can check or uncheck these depending on if your art contains nsfw work or a photo sensitive seizure warning and here you upload the object so let's start from here and work our way up you can upload files with these formats i have chosen a gif file this time so i'll quickly add the title description and the tags so I've added a title, a description, some tags, separated with commas, additions, the royalty percentage and the license. I leave the language empty and will not check NSFW and seizure warning. I've already uploaded the GIF, so let's click on preview. So here in this page you can see your NFT loaded right here and the title description and all the info you entered so click on mint object keep in mind this will cost you 0.08 tes and it will show your royalties here that you entered in the previous step so i'm happy with how it looks so i'll click on mint object confirm the transaction in your wallet and your nft will be minted okay so it shows object minted successfully and you can close this tab now it will bring you to the mint page again, but you do not have to mint again. Go to this three dot menu and click on manage assets this time. Here in the creations tab, you will see all the NFTs you have created. And here our latest NFT has loaded. So click on that and to put it to sale, you need to swap it. So if we go to listings, currently all editions are with me and there's no edition listed. So I'll click on swap and enter the quantity here so let's say i'll put 
14 for sale and price per object so i'll put 1.5 so this means 14 additions will be listed at a price of 1.5 each so click on swap and confirm the transaction in your wallet so wait for some time and your nft will be listed so after refreshing the page you can see that collect for 1.5 test so anyone can buy it directly from here now one interesting thing to notice if i go to my object profile and click on the hiket nung collection you will see the flow state here also so if i open it you can see a buy button here also so even if you share this link that is on object or this link on tia anyone can buy the nft from both the links so that was it for tia let's see how you can create an nft on object so we are on object.com click on sync to sync your wallet and log in on object.com select your account and click on connect click on sign now to mint on object.com you need to first create a collection and then mint into that collection it is basically a smart contract and only you can mint in your collection so click on your profile and click on create so now if you have a collection already it will show up here in the collection but if you don't have a collection you need to go to this collection tab and create it first so you need to set a name add a cover image name collection type art or collectible or other i'll select art description and click on create keep in mind that this operation will cost you 1 tezos so make sure your wallet has enough balance before creating a new collection click on confirm and wait for it to be created now we can see that the collection created successfully so you can click on your profile and tap profile and click on collections you will notice that the new collection that we just created has not appeared here yet so don't panic and do not go back and create another new collection because it does take some time to show up here so wait at least 5 to 10 minutes and if it still doesn't show up you can go back and create a new else you'll just end up with duplicate collections so it's been around 1 minute and the collection has showed up in my collections tab so i click on the collection and i can see the description the image as well the name of it so now let's mint an nft into this collection so go to your profile and click on create now you need to stay in this token tab and not in the collection tab you need to upload your file here these are the type of files supported then you need to add a title a description and some tags representing your image next step is to select the correct collection you want to mint this nft to if you have multiple collections like me they all will show up here make sure you select the correct one if you just created your collection it might take some time to show up here in this list also so if it's not showing up here just refresh the page a few times and it will show up so i'll just add the image the description the title and some tags next is to choose the license so i'll select no license or all like rights reserved additions is the number of additions you want to keep this nft to so i'll select 2 for this one and royalty is the percentage fee you get for every secondary sale in the market now check everything and let's click on mint it will ask for a confirmation just confirm it and token created successfully now you can go back to your profile and it will show up here in some time so the new mint has just appeared on my profile if i go to collections and into scripsters okay it just showed up in the latest mints but it is not counted here in items yet click on your nft and go to actions and click on list so here you can list your nfts for sale you can also send an addition or more by adding the address of recipient here also you can burn your additions from here you just enter the additions and click on burn token so i'll just list both of these i'll click on additions 2 which is 
both of them which is the max limit and i'll add in a value and click on list it will ask for a transaction and click on confirm it will take some time and it will show up here and your listing was placed so you can see the listing has been updated and here's a buy for 2.2 tezos option available now anyone who comes to your nft from a link such as twitter can buy it directly from here so that's how you mint and list your nfts on object so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one